Hello and welcome to another full self-driving beta video. My name is John and I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today's video is about highway driving using full self-driving beta version 11.3.1, the single stack. Coming out of this neighborhood area, it slows down for this area here, thinking there's a stop sign when there never is. I've been reporting that again and again. It slows down here again for those cars incorrectly, so I have to step on the accelerator again. Every time you hear the bell, that counts as me intervening or disengaging, and intervention counts as me stepping on the accelerator or using the right scroll wheel to increase the speed. A disengagement counts as me stepping on the brake pedal, jerking the steer steering wheel out of beta, or moving up on the right drive stock to cancel beta. Here I need to get in the left turn lane for Roselle. It gets over appropriately. This car cuts in front of me. It slows down abruptly. The bag in the passenger seat flies forward. If someone was in the car with me, they would have been like, what the heck? But all said and done, it did do the right thing there. Left turn signal is on, goes through this intersection really well, very naturally. It's dialed in at a 12% speed offset for 45 miles per hour. I'm heading into the city of Chicago, taking I-90 east all the way to the airport, all the way to the, excuse me, all the way past the airport into the city. So this is normally a 40 minute drive. That's why I have it sped up so much, just to save you some time. I'm going past some of the more, um, boring parts, if you will. But if you'd like to see the downtown drive, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments uh, what else you'd like to see me test. Coming up here, this is the first issue I'd like to draw everybody's attention to. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. So it's slowed down. I have to step in the accelerator. This is a common issue when you're merging and not just in that spot. I would call that a little bit of an edge case, but look at this. It's 45 miles per hour here. It's registering that it as that when it's really not 45 miles per hour. I have to manually increase the speed here. And this is always an issue with beta. And it was with navigate on autopilot. It's always been an issue. It just does not speed up. It should see the traffic on the highway. Now look at this, it doesn't merge. Oh, I, I was cringing here. Why didn't it merge earlier? So the lines forced me over. It didn't indicate that it was gonna merge at all. So I'm increasing the speed again here to go, try to go around this truck and it just really doesn't get over. And then I have to get over. This is an exit only lane and it says changing lanes into a faster lane instead of saying changing lanes to follow route, which I was really disappointed in because it, it, it really should have gotten over a lot earlier there. So the first issue, as I pointed out, is it doesn't speed up enough. You have to always introduce extra speed so it can merge correctly with the highway traffic. That's not new to version 11. What is new to version 11, and a major pain point for me, is when it gets in the passing lane, it tends to just stay there. So here it gets in the passing lane, which is great. It's already going the max speed, and now it just sits here, and it stays here. So a car is coming up behind me, I'm increasing the speed to try to keep up. Thankfully, you see that that's all those uh, these, those uh, the beams across that have the red X's. It's showing those as traffic lights, but it never slows down. So I'm really thankful for that. But here again, a car is passing me on the right, and it's just not getting over. So I do turn on the turn signal. Actually, I, before I do that, I increase the speed again. Every time it sees a speed limit sign on the side of the road, it slows down again so I always have to increase the speed so here it's just staying here so on the right side you'll see there's O'Hare Airport so there's some planes coming in and there again traffic lights show up overhead it's nice to see that but it, it is also scary because they're not traffic lights <laughs> so I manually forced the turn signal to get over because someone was coming up behind me and we're coming along here at a, at a pretty good pace uh, and then pretty soon you'll see the, the skyline, the Chicago City skyline, which is nice. It says changing lanes to follow route, which I'm not sure why, because as soon as it gets over to the right, it gets over to the left again here, you'll see. So traffic starts to slow down here a little bit. So it, it said changing lanes into a faster lane, but then it didn't change. I think it saw some traffic coming, so it kind of aborted, but then change, it changed into a faster lane. So why would it change lanes to follow route and then a moments later, changed to get over because it was going too slow. 
doesn't make much sense to me. So there the speed limit changed and I don't do anything with it. So I don't count that as an intervention or anything. And I let it stay at this 55, which is incorrect. Uh, I have it at the 12% speed offset. So it's, it's registering a 62 max speed. So the traffic is starting to build up. So it's slower here. I don't need to adjust it. But then coming up here, I do increase the speed. Even though I don't really need to, I just realize, okay, uh, just in case we need the traffic does pick up again, everybody's going to go like 80 miles per hour here, which is normal when there's not much traffic. So it's 12.06 p.m. It's around lunchtime heading into the city. I'm increasing the speed. And again, I could have done that earlier. Now here, express lanes, it gets over into the express lanes and there was no indication that it was doing that. This is the first time it's ever done that. I've never had beta get into the express lanes before. So this is new to me and I'm curious, is it gonna be able to get out of the express lanes? But prior to getting out of the express lanes, which it kind of tries to, I guess, you'll see it's actually pretty pathetic and that's, going to be the third issue the third point of this video but look at this it says changing lanes into a faster lane i can see right away you can't see it quite yet but there are it's closed you can't get over there's a, a tesla vehicle behind me and i think they're probably wondering what is this guy doing because it's very obvious you can't go over there <laughs> i have my gopro camera on top of my car so i think other people realize that i'm doing some sort of test so that gives me an out. I've noticed ever since I put my GoPro on top of my car, I don't get honked at nearly as much. So that's nice for me because it serves the point of, I, I always wanted to have like a bumper sticker indicating that my car is driving itself. But the, having the GoPro mounted on top solves that really nicely now. <laughs> so now look, I'm half a mile away and I really need to be getting over this gets uncomfortable so there's a lot of gaps it could have taken a gap back there it didn't and now it's awkwardly trying to pull in front of other traffic it, this is a, a a jerk move and you know i would have taken that one right there to be honest with you because look this this is our exit coming up here so there's a car behind me this gets really uncomfortable and i'm debating every moment here should i take over should i take over and i'm like Ugh, i'm gonna push it as much as i can without annoying these people it actually slows down here i have to intervene just to see what it would do and it still wasn't getting over so i disengage here the first disengagement that's nine technically 10 interventions and one disengagement and that's the total count for the rest of this video i do go ahead and report this over an audio completely failed to take the exit please review i had to contemplate exactly how, how how i was going to word that but hopefully tesla is getting that feedback and reviewing it because that was pretty pathetic i'll have to say and that's not the first time it's happened many times when i'm not recording with version 11. the previous build would do a lot better at getting over but look at this, it does get over really well here. So changing lanes to follow route. I'm getting anxious here, but it finds that gap really nicely. And then it gets in front of this truck here. Watch this, it does take the gap. It's like, yes, okay, it did that one. Got two more to go, come on, you can do it. So it takes the next one, really nicely done. I'm happy with that. Got 0.6 miles. Now look at this last one. I slow it down to actual speed. It turns on the turn signal it starts to get over but then it like changes its mind watch this it like it tries to get back over so it's like in the middle of the lanes and very inappropriate uh, <laughs> i was like oh but then i see you see on the on the street there it says turn only lane so now i'm thinking to myself oh no did it do the right thing because sometimes this will force you off the exit and my exit isn't coming up here for a couple so I'm, I'm pretty anxious right here. Now it does find the right exit ramp, which is this next one, but there's a car in the way. Oh, not that one, this one. Look at the car in the way. It slows down for them. Did a really nice job, it waited for them. So third issue, it doesn't get off at the exits. So overall with highway driving with version 11, doesn't merge. In other words, it doesn't speed up appropriately enough that's always been an issue by the way second it doesn't get out of passing lanes and the third it misses exits so i hope this helps everybody subscribe if you like this video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one